Well, as demand for food production and sustainable farming grows, an Australian company is advancing space sensor technology to try to bolster the ag sector. SmartSat Cooperative Research Centre's latest research program is dedicated to developing monitoring capacity that could allow producers and others to monitor factors such as soil health and other things from space. Joining me now is SmartSat CEO, Professor Andy Coroneus. Thanks very much for your time. So we've seen ag, you know, go more and more tech. What exactly would this do? What would it do that's not happening at the moment, I guess, for the ag sector? Yes, yeah, certainly. Thank you for the opportunity. The, this uh, major technology, national technology uh, a research program will develop uh, next generation AI enabled technologies that would promise to, to transform the food production system, uh, bringing together the uh, various sources of data that exist, but also using next generation of AI uh, uh, capabilities to be able to analyze, to better analyze and develop uh, sophisticated prediction models uh, for, uh, for agriculture. Uh, this is merely, this is a, we want to make sure that we don't just merely um, keep up with other countries uh, in the agricultural area, but actually uh, are able to transform agriculture through the next generation of technologies. And as you know, technologies are, are moving so fast. They are moving at an exponential rate. Uh, so what was essentially what was science fiction yesterday, it's possible today, and it mm. will be godlike technology tomorrow. So we have no time to lose, and for us as Australia, to better integrate the uh, space technologies into the ground system uh, ag tech uh, with UAVs okay. and ground sensors that are becoming smaller, smarter and cheaper. Cheap is always the word you need for a technology to take off. What, what is it, what will actually, what's an example I guess of what it would do? So it would be able to quickly look at a large area and say um, this soil is stressed, it needs, I don't know, insert nutrient or whatever there, or this area is um, getting too dry. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm not getting the terminology right and it's more detailed than that, but is that the sort of thing it'll do really quickly and, and you know, ag workers or ag companies yes. will be able to go, right, we're going to change tack here and do something differently? Exactly. We'll build better models. I will build better models for better prediction so that we are engaged in true precision agriculture and it will do that in in much faster time frames. At the moment, data is collected, data is analyzed, sometimes by humans or semi-automatic uh, automated methods. We're gonna be able to actually do some of the analysis on board the satellite. So make satellites smarter so that they can do part of the analytics, particularly in time critical areas, part of the analysis mm. in near real time. Uh, for instance, if what? in a okay. in a disaster situation, you know, go on. You may have a you may have a satellite that is acting semi-autonomously, uh, that actually collects data and then communicates with other satellites behind it as they as they are passing through to be able to identify areas. Uh, of disaster to be able to warn the first responders, the farmers and others of, um, of problems um, with, uh, with disaster areas like road closures, for instance, bridges falling and so on. Okay, so used for disasters as well. Just finally and briefly, would it, would it sort of seek to look at whole areas and say, look, over the last 10 years, this is no longer the best place to plant wheat or, um, you know, the amount of water this is, cotton's using up in this area might not be any good. Would it have the longer term use as well? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Bringing together historical data and fusing data from multiple sources, not only data from one or two satellites, but bringing all of those historical data, fusing it with uh, uh, more recent data and being able to predict okay. and provide the best advice for farmers of where to plant, how to plant and how to manage that uh, food production activity.